Welcome back, everybody. My guest tonight is the original voice of both Yoda and Cookie Monster. I'll ask him if for Cookie C is. Please welcome Frank Oz. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Frank Oz. Can I call you Frank Oz? You can. Frank Oz. Can I just say something? Yes. My favorite part of your show, yes. bar none, is when you introduce the guest and you come here and take a bow. <laughs> I love that. Well, I got to give these people what they it's want. Great. <laughs> it's great. Thank you very much. All right, well, that's great to hear. I mean it. I no, think that's hysterical. It's my favorite part of the show, I too. I think it's wonderful. And you deserve it. Thank you. I put the most thought into it. Of course. <laughs> Well, everybody knows you, of course, as being the voice of uh, Miss Piggy, the voice of Grover, uh, the voice of Fozzie Bear, the voice of Animal, and That's... the voice of Yoda. Yeah, it's so weird, though. What's weird? That you say the voice of. So who does the character? The, the person I mean, who does. does. Yoda? Fozzie is the character. Yeah, but who, who's, who makes Yoda? How, how physically, how is it? Done. Isn't there a real Yoda? You <laughs> is a Yoda. Oh, okay. So you do all that stuff. Yeah, that's so you weird. You do all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, people yeah. are so used to animation that people just do the voices. But when right, the performers right. and Muppets do it, it's the the voices are only ten percent of it. The rest is ninety percent of it. Oh, okay, okay. Do you, Ninety-two. Do you do you ever get pissed off that people recognize the 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 Muppet more than they recognize you? <laughs> I mean, because you ever, you ever tempted to make a Muppet that looks exactly like Frank Oz <laughs> so you can get a little bit of that Muppet love yourself? <laughs> not that you're not slightly no. Muppet-ish. <laughs> no, I, listen, I'm, I'm thrilled. I can, I, can, uh, I can be, you know, get in the limo and be the star, and then I can go buy, buy my pork and beans or do my laundry. I, I, I love the That anonymity. sounds like a beautiful, beautiful day. <laughs> it is. Pork Just and doing, beans and laundry. Doing, you live doing, the high life, man. You are living the dream. Mundane, <laughs> mundane stuff like that. It was wonderful. Um, are there Muppet groupies? Are there Muppet groupies? Like, does animals in the band, animals the drummer, does animal get any action? Are the people backstage willing to give them a hand? What do you hand? mean action? What? What do you mean action? <laughs> groupies, man. We're all adults. No, I, I need to know. I need to. We're I, actions. Muppet sex. Do the Muppets have sex? <laughs> So you said it. I said you it. You actually did you it. You made me say I it. I didn't make you. Yes, I just, you did. I just I, asked I, you. I insinuated. I, you, and you exinuated. You made me be explicit. I might have drawn it out, but uh -huh. it was there. All right. Do Muppets have sex? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm wondering how you get new Muppets is all I'm asking for. <laughs> how do you get new Muppets? I'm a big boy. We're all adults. We're all adults here. Well, I don't actually, I never, I haven't performed the Muppets for many years, and I don't, when I did, I didn't make the characters. There was a tremendous m amount of people who were very talented who actually were the workshop who made the characters. Oh, okay, so, so they, that's, they, where, that's where I the hate, action is. Back well, to, yeah. yeah, I can't tell you what actually happens there. If all right, there's exactly, action or not. It's, a, it's a family show. But it was done in the workshop. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, you you uh, uh, you are famous for directing Little Shop of Horrors. I am. Okay, uh, it's a cult classic uh, from 1986, 87. Yeah, okay. around there. 25th anniversary of the movie's coming out. There's a new ending on the end. Yes. Okay. Well, actually, it's the old ending, the original ending. That it's not the ending I saw. No, it's not the ending you I saw. I saw it in the theater. Had a happy ending when I it saw it. It had a happy ending, mm -hmm. but the original ending which is about a million dollars worth of, of, of work and uh, by Richard Conway, was excised about 25 years ago because the scores were so low that Warners would not release the movie because... When they did, like, market testing, like right, when they showed it to audiences. And, and actually, I didn't need the market testing. I was there at the San Jose screening, and it was a, they loved the show until we killed the two stars, Ellen and Rick, and it was an icebox. So therefore, Howard, Howard Ashman, who is brilliant, he uh, and I knew what we, had, we had to do. We had to have an happy ending. And right, we did. Let's take a look at the original ending here. Let's do a little bit of it right here. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was all tabletop. There was no digital at all. That's, that, was, that was all that's tabletop. Impressive. That's all real. About a million dollars. 
That was, that was over about a year's work. That's the end of the world. Yes. Okay. Yes. And the first version of this movie put out, it had a happy ending. Yes. Did you prefer that or this? Howard and I both preferred that. Okay. Why? Why didn't you just stick to your guns? Because uh, I know when I'm in an audience and I can feel them totally against me. Right now, like right now. Like now. Totally <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's a very, it's a very well-known feeling I have. Yeah. Then I, I don't need cards. I don't need to. And I, we did a second preview in Los Angeles. And I asked David Geffen if we do it again. Same thing happened. Okay, well, I agree with you. Why then change it? Why put out this? Because I paid good money to see the happy ending in 1986. Why change this? You know, it, you had a perfectly fine, you know, you don't change the ending to a classic. You know, you don't change Rosebud into a snow cone do you, machine. Do you prefer the, uh, do you prefer, I'm sorry, do you prefer the happy ending? I enjoy whatever ending I paid for originally. I'm a conservative. <laughs> I'm a conservative and I don't like things to change. Okay, I just wanted to do it. I didn't, I, I would have asked you first, but I wanted to, I, I, I should have. I just wanted to give Richard Conway his due. He was the one who actually, his team did all the work. So that's why I really wanted to do it. All right, okay. You gonna change the ending of any other movies? No. Make those make those downers? No, I promise I won't. Really? No. End of In and Out, maybe Kevin Klein <laughs> Legend to Death. <laughs> Anything like that? No? No. Get out, let me just hit, throw you hit with softball. Okay. Hit with okay. softball. Bert and Ernie, that's a straight situation, right? That's a straight. <laughs> totally straight, because I hear things. Okay. Are you ever tempted to use your character's voices to get out of bad situations? I just like jump, what bad jump into like Yoda when you're pulled over and say, not speeding was I, officer. <laughs> I'm like, hey, no. No. You were no missing I, out on a great opportunity. <laughs> is, what's it like living, living your life? I know they're not voices, they're characters. But what is it like being famous for a, for a character who isn't you, who gets to say and do things you don't get to do? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. What is that? <laughs> is that fun? Did have you enjoyed that? <laughs> well, Frank, thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> Frank Oz, <laughs> Little Shop of Horrors, the original ending. We'll be right back.